From time to time on Auto Show TV, we'd like to cover the topic of automotive safety. I found someone to help us present these safe driving messages, Providence attorney Lawrence Signori. We share concern for drivers who make irresponsible decisions behind the wheel. Go to his website and you'll see attorney Signori is serious about keeping Rhode Island drivers safe. Well, what started it all is as we're practicing law and personal injury, we started to notice an uptick in reading the police reports of witness statements saying that I was unable to stop or I was distracted, and they end up rear-ending the person and hitting the person in front of them. And as you start to have, as the case progresses, you start to find out as attorneys, as personal injury attorneys, that people are texting and driving. And when I see people out texting and driving, you think of your children in school buses, you think of your young teenage drivers, you think of your parents. You're an attorney, but this is personal. It has become personal, it has. When people get hit um, and people you know have that near miss or that near collision, and you look down and someone is texting and driving, it's almost as though someone is, it, when you see someone weaving, they're either drunk driving or more often than not texting and driving. It's tough to legislate against bad behavior, isn't it? Well, as the current Rhode Island law stands now, it's an $85 fine, and it's a high threshold to prove that someone was actually receiving and or transmitting uh, um, digital data. So basically, the texting and driving statute is hard to enforce, and there isn't a lot of teeth behind it. Legislating is one thing, it's, it's, it's education. We just, we just have to get people to stop doing this. Well, I think it's a collaborative approach. You have to have legislation and the public officials to make people, the general public, aware that this is a real problem that affects just about everybody on the road. And then you need an educational component, starting with school children, or particularly children that are starting to drive, driver's education. And what I would like people to understand, that the National Institutes of Health tell us that the time it takes to read a text message is approximately two, two and a half seconds. When you're traveling at 60 miles an hour on the highway, you travel almost two to two and a half football lengths while receiving a text message. An awful lot can happen. The other thing that is shocking to me is that you're 20, per the National Institutes of Health, you're 23 times more likely to be involved in a car accident while you are distracted driving. The correlation is, according to the National Institutes of Health, is you're 25% more likely to be involved in a car accident if you've been drinking and driving. Drinking and driving and texting and driving are almost statistically the same in terms of increased probability of being involved in an automobile accident. If you're paying attention to the road, uh, there's less likely of a chance of you hitting someone.